welcome back to the channel it's just after four o'clock in the morning here and I'm still well I am I've been up for a couple of hours uh, but some news for people in the UK if you fly model aircraft and drones in the UK some interesting news for you that's just uh, come to my attention and that is that the drone registration and education system that was due to kick off this month today whenever in the UK it's been uh, just so, well, not suspended it's been delayed it's been delayed by possibly a couple of weeks um, because this is because the UK has been or the government has been ordered to go back or the Department for Transport's been ordered to go back and rethink the whole idea in respect of model aircraft and the regulations and the registration and the education thing because as we know <laughs> not a problem so yeah the government's directed the Department of Transport to go back to the drawing board please and see if you can come up with a, a plan that takes into account the concerns uh, and the good behavior of model flying so we'll see what happens for you guys in the UK it's going to be an interesting time course in Australia they had to do the same well they didn't do quite the same thing Australia was supposed to have its drone registration kicking off next month I think but that's been delayed until sometime next year I think the regulators have all started realizing it's a lot harder than we thought it's not quite as simple as just telling people to do stuff and they'll do it because in the UK there's been quite a big call for people to boycott the drone registration education system dress or whatever you want to call it because it, it, civil disobedience is a great way to make a point and even the BMFA has said don't don't register don't sign up yet so mm, that's going to be interesting isn't it we'll see what happens I, I certainly hope that in the UK common sense prevails and they decide that model aircraft have never been a problem they're still not a problem let's not include them in the problem um, we don't know how that's going to work as you if you saw my recent video the one just before this one about the situation in New Zealand people are asking the right questions but whether they listen that will be a different story only time will tell and obviously time is the thing that these regulators seem to have run out of they're having to push away push back these implementation deadlines because they have just simply got totally out of whack with reality so we'll see what happens but yeah if you want more information I'll put a link in the description of this video you can go to the BMFA website which was where I found it uh, and they say they published a thing on the 30th of October and I'll just read it for you briefly it says further to our previous update of the 11th of September there is no real change to the situation as published all parties are currently waiting for the outcome of the Secretary of State's deliberations on the matter and there's little we can add until we receive this what we can confirm however is that the DRES scheme will not be rolled out on the 1st of October it seems unlikely it will be rolled out before the 14th of October at the earliest and for the time being therefore we would suggest that it remains business as usual for our members we would also encourage members not to rush into registering or taking the test when the dress is eventually rolled out until we have issued further guidance we will update members as soon as we receive further information from the Secretary of State for Transport the Department for Transport or the Civil Aviation Authority so there you go that's the state of events in the UK all hope is not lost but by the same token don't hold your breath you might suffocate that's it an update thanks for watching guys spot you later